height and we're underway. Period number one. Alexanian has been one of the more dominant wrestlers in Greco-Roman history. Three-time world champ. Won it all in 2014, 2015, and 17. He was Olympic gold medalist at the most recent games in Rio, plus an Olympic bronze in 2012. Ninety-seven kilos. One of two semifinals. Headed into this first period in a rematch of last year's world final, Alex Onion. up against the Russian Evalev. Passivity call and it will be the Russian who fires first. He'll get the point and he will go into the top position in parterre. Talked about it. Russia going three for three in the Greco-Roman quarterfinals earlier today. 77-97 and 130 all advancing into the semifinals. So a Russian flair tonight. Evelev looks like he's trying to get into position to possibly lift the three-time world champion. Alex Anyan dangerously wandering toward that protection area. He's able to get some air and he throws him out. And let's see what they give. It will be the two points. It's confirmed by the judge. So a nice execution by Musa Evelev toward the edge of the mat to get the two. And he goes up 3-0. Well, he was patient. He just kept bridging up, kept building up his strength. Knew exactly where he was on the mat. Alex Anyan very close to nearly leaving the mat. We saw yesterday a veteran get caught doing that from Hungary, and it cost him. You're in the bottom of the parterre. You have to keep circling in the center. You can't make a way toward the out of bounds or you'll get stuck with a flea in the mat. That was very close for the three-time champ. And regardless, Evelev gets the two-point throw and he goes up 3-0, winding down this first period. Blue action. Red no blocking. Looks like the Armenian is content to keep his energy and his reserve tank full for this second period. So a little bit of a surprise. Russia goes to the period break on top by a score of three to nothing. You're looking at one of the uh, true mountains in this division through the years of 97 kilos. He's always performed well on the grandest stage in Budapest, certainly providing that in 2018. But this Russian showing some strength, showing some proxy toward center. the edge. Able to get the late two. Red blue center. Capitalize from the parterre. Three nothing Russia. Let's see what type of force Alexanyan brings to start this second period. The Russian who leans in first. Alexanyan has had some success 
In second periods, in fact, the last match with Evelev, he trailed big in that first period. He was down 6 nothing the last two wrestlers battled. He ended up with 10 unanswered to pull off the win. Trying to figure out a way to get it done in this second period. Trailing 3 0. Evelev trying to do his best to stay active. There's that Russian tie. He's got the left arm hooked up, but Evelev able to get out of harm's way. And a passivity call on Evelev. And for the first time, it's Alexanyan with a chance to go on top in parterre. Okay, position. Just get out. Through the years, he has turned many a foe. He gets that gut wrench. Evelev not letting him go. Twisting in the air to the right. Alexanian readjusts the position. Tries to come back to that right side. Now drapes over to the left, and he's unable to get a turn. And Ebelev survives underneath, and he maintains the two-point lead. One minute remains. Evelev continues to lead. Propelled by that throw toward the tail end of the first period in parterre, he leads 3-1. A three-time world champion on a quest to bag his fourth world gold medal. Down two. Picking up the pace just a little bit. Just can't quite find any type of crack so far in the Russian. Rusa Evelev has done a nice job. He's kept his elbows in. Zanyan briefly went to that front headlock. Mainly been working off that two on one. Takes a shot, slipped through, and with 7.5 to go, Russia looks like they're going to continue their strong run today. This would be a big one for the Russians and Evelev, even though they already have the team race wrapped up. A huge individual win and revenge from last year's World Championships. And there it is, Russia gets the win. Three to one, Musa Evelev denies Alexanian a chance for his fourth world gold medal. Musa's had a good season. He was primed to go pretty deep.